Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Griffin. Today I'm going to show you how to use the randomizer function in Qualtrics. There are a couple different reasons why you'd want to use this. One could be you want to randomize your question order, you want to randomize different blocks, maybe the presentation order. I recently used this because I just ran a study where I presented people with different scenarios. So one was on political affiliation. So I gave them uh, a scenario they had to read and they had to answer questions based on the manipulation they gave or the, the the manipulation i gave them the manipulation they read so one had to do with a democratic manipulation a republican manipulation and then one one was an apolitical manipulation so there are a couple different ways um to utilize this but the randomizer tool is great to use so here i just clicked into my survey and what i want to do i want to explore how people feel about different desserts in this first block here i have my consent it's called block three i'm going to name that consent to make it easy so i have my consent form if they say yes they can participate and then i have the bulk of my study is i want to know how people feel about ice cream how they feel about cake how they feel about cookies and lastly how much they enjoy desserts in general so how i'm going to do this is when you click on your survey project, you start on your builder. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my survey flow. And here we can see behind the scenes what someone is going to see when they take my study. I've built in a couple different things. I've built in a random number generator at the end. I've done a video on how to do this, but essentially that's if um, you wanted to keep track of people between different software, such as some learning management software or Mechanical Turk or Prolific. I've also built in a consent form and then a branch function. If someone does not agree to participate, it's automatically going to kick them out. So I had to do that for IRB purposes, or um, if you, you know, if, if people don't consent, you don't want them to take your survey and have all the liability that comes from that. So now let's get to my actual questions. I have my ice cream question, my cake question, my cookie question, and then kind of a general question, which is just how much do you enjoy dessert in general? So I need to add my randomizer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the bottom of my survey flow, I'm gonna click add a new element here, and I am going to click on randomizer. I'm gonna click on randomizer and it says, um, randomizer is gonna randomly present how many of the following elements. So I need to add the elements. The elements I'm going to add, I'm going to add a block. What block am I gonna add? I'm gonna add my ice cream block. I'm gonna add another element on that same level and that's going to be my cake block and then I'm going to add my third element which is going to be my cookie block. So what this is going to do is it says it's going to randomly present three of the following elements. So it's going to uh, be random between ice cream cake and cookie. But up here I already have ice cream cake and cookie in my survey flow so they're going to see it twice. We don't want that so I'm going to go up here to the top I'm going to delete the ice cream block delete the cake block, delete the cookie block. But we want the randomizer to show up immediately after the consent form. So I'm gonna hit move, I'm gonna click on it and then I can drag and drop. I just barely made this video and I hit move and I tried to drag it while hitting move. You have to click move and then you drag and drop. So now when they take my survey, they'll see the consent form, they'll see the consent question and then they'll see the randomizer. And we can see that randomizer contains those three blocks. But then once they are done taking those three elements, it'll automatically kick them back to how much they enjoy and also the random number. So something else that can, can be done with randomizer, like in my survey with politics, I didn't want them to see all three questions or all three scenarios. I only wanted them to see one of the manipulations. So randomizer can automatically present all of them a subsection of them or only one. So for example, if I wanted to see how people feel about desserts, but I didn't want, but I only wanted them to answer about one dessert, I could change randomly present to be one. And I can also hit evenly present elements. So what's going to happen is when people take this survey, instead of just randomly giving them one of the three, it'll try to balance it out. So if 100 people take my survey, they're going to try to get it as close to 33, 33, 33 as possible. So here, if someone takes my survey, I can go ahead and apply. Let's go ahead and preview this survey. So I'll go back to my survey builder. I'm gonna preview. It's going to give me my consent form. Let me move myself. So yes, I agree to participate. Now it's going to say, what's my favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm gonna hit chocolate. And then it's gonna skip the two other manipulations and it's gonna say, I enjoy eating desserts. 
So let's go ahead. Let's restart the survey. Let's see if the, the randomizer worked. So the first one that gave us was ice cream. Now, when I restarted the survey, it says, what's your fla favorite flavor of cake? So it only gave me one of those three options. If I go back to my survey, go back to my survey flow, what I can do is I can change this to be one of the elements or all three of the elements. But what's going to happen is it's going to randomize all three. So what I want to do here is I'm going to only do one. I'm going to apply and I'm actually going to publish this because I want to, sh when hundreds of people take your survey, you need to be able to see what manipulation or what order of questions they actually got. So I'm going to publish my survey. Let's see, let's go ahead and publish. Let's go ahead and copy the link. I'm going to open up an incognito tab and I'm going to take this survey. Yes, I agree to participate. Um, my favorite flavor of cookie. Let's just say chocolate. I enjoy eating desserts. Strongly agree. You can tell by my physique and also a random ID. So yes, your response has been recorded. I'm going to take it one more time. So yes, I agree to participate. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? So this is a different question. Cookies and cream is my favorite. Anyone else who says differently is incorrect. I strongly agree. And then my random ID, which isn't working right now. Um, but I made one that works in a different video. So I'm going to click out of this. So now I have a couple of different data points. So I'm going to go to data and analysis. And I want to show you how you can actually export the data showing um, what manipulation, excuse me, what block from the randomizer they got. Because if someone's answering questions about your manipulation or about one specific question, you want to know what question they got or what question they're responding to. So I'm going to go to export. And I need to go to export data, but I'm going to click on more options. And when I go to more options, there will say something called export viewing order data for randomized survey. We use the randomizer, so we need to see the export viewing order data for randomized surveys. So let's go ahead and download that. It's downloading right now, gives it to me in a zip file. So now if I open my project, Something we will see here is we have all of our data, but this very last column, let me go ahead and make this bigger. I need to get a new license for Excel. But when I make this block bigger, what we can see is this, or excuse me, I'm, I'm mixing up my Qualtrics and my Excel language. When I see this last column here, it shows us what block was shown. So for the first one, it showed cookie. For the second one, it showed ice cream, the misspelled ice cream. So make sure when you export, you make sure that you show the randomized order. So let's go ahead and review. In this video, I showed you how to use the Qualtrics randomizer function. We have my three main questions about the desserts. I went into the survey flow. I added randomizer and I added each of the blocks within um, as an element under the randomizer. So I added each of the three blocks as an element under the randomizer. I uh, only chose to present one of the following elements, but you could do this with all of the elements. I just did it for this survey. So I could do one or I could do all three um, and I'm going to evenly present the elements. Um, and then anything that I want people to answer that is not included in the randomizer, I made sure that it was on a new um, section. So it wasn't under the randomizer. What you could do is you could um, implement more questions or more details, more elements under each one of these. But for my purposes, this worked for me. And then if I wanted to export data that had that random question order, how I'm going to do that, I need to go to data and analysis. I need to go to export and import. I'm going to export data. And when I hit more options, I'm going to make sure I have selected export viewing order data for randomized surveys. All right. I hope this helped you. I hope uh, your survey, your research, whatever you're working on goes great, but you have a great day. Happy learning. See you later, everyone.